everyone, Jack from Dr. Priest app. Today we are on another house call. Uh, the user saying there's there's error code coming out from the decent battery uh, P3000. Um, so I'm heading over and I bring you along with me. Let's go find out what's going on. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we made it. Um, this is the the car in question. So uh, today it's 100 degree in LA, super hot and the uh the customer the hill he has the uh, the car in neutral for uh for five to ten minutes the ac in full blast and what's happened as as you can imagine is the um while the motor and engine is disengaged the engine not able to charge the battery therefore slowly it drained the battery to the bottom so that's the situation. Uh, I think we're, got, we're gonna run the Dr. Priest app again. Let's, we just start the car and let's run the Dr. Priest app and see what the situation looks like. And as you can see, wow, it's all red. Everything's bad right now. Nothing, no engine, no battery, no motor, nothing. So let's take a look at the error code. Rebattery error P3000, here we go. And let's take a look at the engine error code as well. Yeah, that's engine code U0293. All right, so I guess there's nothing work. The <laughs> the customer actually has to uh, tow the car or, or push the car all the way up here to here. So um, let's see if we can find a power outlet and charge out the battery. So what happened is the, the power outlets on that building, there's no power here. So we're gonna push the car all the way across the street. All right, the car is rolling not right now. Right, watch no. out, watch out. Okay, good, clear. Is it breaking right now? Um, no, not breaking. No break? <laughs> okay. No, no, I, got, I got it though. You got it? Okay. Yeah, I got the e down. All right, be careful. Yeah, that'd be great. How long is the extension cord? It It'll probably take a long time because it charged very slowly. Power outlet, yes, okay, we can see it now. Situation update. So talk to the uh, the owner. What happened is this is the old style Prius C. So there's, it's like a a nice old style shifter. So he accidentally forgot in the uh, neutral for a long period of time. Therefore, battery completely drained. Yeah, from my in my opinion, that's a bad design. Uh, all right, so this is a, the battery. Uh, Prius C battery, it's very <laughs> not that easy to handle because the number of bolts just insane, and to get to the uh, terminal. All right, so we basically have to take, we have to flip the entire battery in order to unbolt every single bolt on this thing. And now I have it connected, positive negative to the battery on the trusty for long charger here all right and that's uh before doing that we need to carefully put in the uh, service plug to complete the circuit all right let's do it got the voltmeter as you can see one one seven volt it's really really low very low so it's supposed to have around uh, for pre C 165 volts right now so we are 40 volts short that's where the uh, portal charger coming in place it's going to slowly charge out the battery probably in a couple of hours turn on slowly charging the battery up at a very tiny little amp see it's even uh, i think it's trickle charging but it is charging just slowly and it's already went up two volts all right, we're gonna leave it here for a couple hours, and uh, we'll recover it tomorrow. So, so stay tuned. Right? Yeah. So lesson learned uh, for Prius, Prius C, or any other Prius actually, um, try not to put the gear in the neutral for too long. Otherwise, the AC will basically drain the battery in a matter of minutes. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's five. It's almost at 40%. And 
as you can see the delta voltage is still at 0 0.05 volt I guess there's minimum damage to the battery and everything looks good cool very, very minor damage successful rescue all right, folks, so we successfully rescued the uh, previous C with the drain battery. Customer is super happy. Uh, and I think there's a minimum damage to the leasing battery. Um, uh, I want to point out that the prolonged charger that I use is for my Gen 2 and Gen 3. It's designed for voltage at around 255 volt max. Uh, however, you can use that in pre C, just need to monitor the voltage carefully, make sure it doesn't exist the, uh, what pre C rated for. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content and hit that subscribe. I'll see you at the next one.